when it wasn't going well, I think that's when he felt the responsibility more. And I think we probably all think the same with the ten players. Let Stevie have it. Let him take the penalty. Or pass it to Stevie, he'll shoot. And then that was times by 40,000 in the ground. Stevie's down to you. Olympiacos are going through at the moment, unless Liverpool score another goal. Mella, lovely cushion header. Get Get up! Up! When we first met him, he was just a young lad playing football, living his dream. Didn't think he realised what was ahead of him. He obviously grew up a lot because of the responsibility he had. But we were both still really young at that time. <laughs> On the pitch, he always looked aggressive. I'm like, oh, God. But at home, he's, you know, he's just different. He wasn't scared of showing his emotions. He probably looked forward to just coming home and just being himself. I was Liverpool captain. Liverpool captains always deliver. They have to. The history, the tradition. The success. Am I worthy? Am I good enough? Am I going to be one of these captains where he goes, will he never won anything? The weight and how heavy the expectation was. It was just the constant thing in my head. He took so much pressure on his shoulders playing for Liverpool. He needed an arm around his shoulder. Just that little bit of care shown could make all the difference. But Rafa was a different personality. He's colder in that respect. I was there, and I see that frustration with Stephen. I craved success and I wanted everything that comes with the game. Rafa's coldness just added fuel to the fire. If I'm not loved here and respected and he doesn't rate me as much as I think he should rate me, the thought of leaving Liverpool starts creeping in. Mourinho liked me as a player. And everyone knew that he was a serial winner in the making. That was what started to grip me thoughts and grip me ambition. 